Hello again brewers, so today we're going to be looking at how to recycle mini kegs to use with your home brew. So first of all you need a mini keg, so other brands are available but in this case the important part is that we're looking for the kegs that have this type of tap and more importantly this type of bung on the top. So these ones you can fully recycle and reuse without having to buy replacement bungs or um, any other sort of additional equipment to recycle them. So as long as you can get this bung out and keep it intact, it should be able to be reused as it is. So basically you've got the um, bungs that have the rubber uh, bit with the red plastic insert in the middle which you twist to vent the gas out of the keg. Obviously you have to drink the beer out of it first, I know that's tough but hey ho, we have to suffer for our art. Um, in order to get it out I've just got a pair of pliers here, um, long nose ones will be easier to get underneath the edge of the bung. I've wrapped a little bit of gaffer tape around these uh, just so that the metal doesn't um, destroy the sort of edge of the bung or tear it off as easily. What you need to do initially is actually pull out this red plastic part out of the top of the bung like so. So keep that and then if you look inside the bung you will see there is the bottom half of that plastic uh, assembly and just push that through with your finger or if you can't use that you get a pencil or the pliers or something and just poke it through so it falls into um, the inside of the keg we can fish that out later without too much problem you're then going to get your pliers and basically get those underneath the edge of the bung so that you can then lever it out so try not to be too forceful because you will tear the um, edge off of it and then you'll have to buy a replacement. They're not expensive so you can um, get brand new ones if you prefer but uh, being a thrifty sort I try and reuse the bungs as much as possible uh, and basically what you're looking to do is just get underneath the edge of it there try and get hold of one of the thicker parts and just ease it out of the top without as I said before trying to do as little damage to it as possible but it should come free without too much hassle and then you've got your second part of the bung there that we can take away so now all we need to do is take this off and wash um, the bung out wash the plastic part of the bung out of the keg and obviously give this a good rinsing through and then sanitize it ready to put our own home brew into it. So I've just rinsed out the keg with uh, normal water first of all that helps you to get out the bottom half of the bung assembly so when you fill it up with water when you tip it out if you turn it upside down and then kind of swirl it round a bit um, that will make it uh, hopefully sort of drop out of the um, other end and save you trying to rattle it out of the top. These three parts here I will basically put those into some star sand first of all which we've got down here and just uh, let those sanitise first before I reassemble it and then I'm going to rinse this through with star sand as well. I did pour some uh, boiling water through it as well and let it drain through the tap so um, just obviously make sure that you've given it a good wash through. It should be fairly um, clean anyway if you've not left it for too long after it's been um, emptied initially but uh, just obviously make sure that you try and shake it through and uh, clean it up as much as possible before you reuse it. Okay, so reassembling this little assembly here for the bung is pretty straightforward. Just make sure you line up the tab with the 
little gap on the rubber bit there and just push it in um, so when you turn it it will line up as you can see on the top and then the bottom half there's a couple of little plastic guides inside that which line up with the gap on the underside there so just line that up and then push it home it should click into place like that and then that is good so once you've got your keg all sanitized and ready to go uh, we need to prime it with some sugar uh, I'm going to put the sugar in before I add the beer so there's 12 grams worth there that I'm going to tip into the keg That doesn't sound like an awful lot of sugar to prime it with, but trust me, that's plenty. So um, you will know about it if you over prime the kegs because they will start to inflate um, like a rugby ball and they will be very difficult to get anything other than foam out of um, and will probably eject a lot of beer out of the top as well when you try and vent them. So uh, definitely a case of uh, under priming if anything rather than putting in the amount that you would normally do for that quantity if you were bottle priming okay once you're ready to start filling the keg I've got some beer here that I'm going to be putting some of it into the keg and the rest is going to be bottled so obviously I haven't primed the beer that's in here separately um, I'm going to do that for the bottles afterwards. You need a bottling wand or some tubing for this because you don't want to be splashing the beer into the keg obviously to avoid oxygenation. Um, when you fill it up try and aim for uh, filling it to about an inch underneath the top or the opening where the, the bung is going to be fitted so it's not too high up in the keg. Again, when you vent it, if it's too high up, it's going to basically start foaming out of the top and make a bit of a mess. Okay. All right, so that is now topped up with some homebrew beer in there. And all we need to do is take our uh, bung and just fit that back into the top. Again, I've just given that a quick dip in the star sand before I do that to make sure it's nice and clean. And then just push it home into the top until it sits flush with the top surface um, and that's it basically so that will need to go into a warm place for a week or two to carb up and then it should be good to go this obviously will have uh, yeast in it so there will be a little bit of sediment in the keg when it is done so although it is um, portable you will need to let it settle for a little bit before you um, start pouring it if you do take it anywhere else uh, but otherwise really good uh, nice easy way to dispense beer and uh, recycled as well so yeah there you go that's um, how to reuse a mini keg